Hey, I'm Kristen from Hammock Haven Farm, and we haven't seen you in quite a while because, well, it's winter time here and these girls are dry. Uh, they're gonna kid in the next month or so, and before they do, we need to get their blood tests in. Um, we do blood tests for disease, um, mostly CIE, but then we also spot test for CL and Yonis. Stop you making noise during the video. So we're gonna show you how we draw blood. Um, it was one of the last uh, things that I was able to learn how to do. Um, it was just always kind of daunting to me. So we finally came up a way where we're able to do it and we're gonna show you what we do. And so just give us a second, get set up. Some of the things that you're gonna to need to have together before you do this are going to be um, these red top tubes. Um, put the blood in. These are BD vacuum container glass serum tubes. I just get these on Amazon. I think it's about $28 for a pack of 100 of them. Uh, you're going to need needles. I like to use a 20 gauge needle and I don't like the real long needles. So I feel like I have more control with the shorter one and so I use the half inch 20 gauge needles. Uh, you're going to need syringes. Um, usually they ask you to get about five cc's of blood, five milliliters, and so I use these six milliliter syringes. And important thing, which I've had to run back to the house for before, is a Sharpie, because you're going to have to label each one of your uh, tubes with your goat's name. Uh, you're going to need a pair of clippers, unless you're really good. I mean, I see the vet students like hairy goat, boom, get it first time. But I like a pair of clippers to clip off the fur over their jugular so that I can see what I'm aiming for. And another thing that I use so I can see what I'm doing is their collar and a combination of a leash. And you're gonna need a helper. So let's do this. Okay, we've got Catlin out here as our first guinea pig. And these sometimes get in the way, but we're gonna show you kind of how to work around it. But it's the best way to get her um, to hold steady. So I like to make sure her collar is pulled up um, towards her head so it's not trapped behind because I'm going to use that to help block the blood so I can see what I'm aiming at. Now her jugulars are going to run down each side of her neck. You see there's like a little indentation here. There's going to be one in here and then one on the other side here. So if you've tried a couple of times on one side, it's okay. Don't panic. It's going to take some time to learn. Sometimes I've got to stick them a few times. Um, so just shave the other side and go with it. I gotta move this. Alright, now I have a spot where I can see where I'm working. We'll give her a food for a second while I get the needle together, and then we'll show you exactly how we do the blood draw. So he's gonna use this leash to hold her head up and away, and then I'm gonna use her collar as a tourniquet to get her vein to pop. So pull, make sure her nose goes that way a little bit. There, see if I push this, now you can see that the vein is starting to fill here and it just gives you a bigger, easier target. Keep her head that way. Not so much. I think we're out. Shoot. Okay, let's we didn't get quite enough blood that time because she moved her head. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop her vein a little here. I'm going to, I don't know if I can get back in here. I'm going to try though. No. All right. I might have to go the other side now because it's not quite enough blood. Um, they might do it. It's about two cc's. Um, they like to get like five or six though. So let me see if I can get lower. So I don't want to have to shave the other side. Nah, see we kind of got her popped a little bit there. So I'm gonna to have to try the other side or else call this one good enough. Yeah, they could probably get it with this since I'm only gonna do a CIE test on her. I'm gonna call two enough. So then put it in your vacuum container it'll automatically shoot down in there and then make sure you right away put her name on the file and 
and leave room for a number because when you fill out the paperwork, they're gonna want you to number each one too. So that was Catlin. Let's try another one, see if we can get a little more blood on the next one. One tip, if they are chewing, make sure that they swallow before you do this or you can make them choke. I am kind of choking her up with this a little bit. All right. Let's keep her neck and head face that way. She's gotta come out just a little bit. Yeah, just, yeah there you go. Okay, I'm gonna use this. To make her vein pop right here. You're not getting it real good. Try tipping her head towards the, the um, pasture you had. There we go, that's good, that's perfect, that's perfect, right there. having issues with them wanting to move as soon as I get in there. Nope, again, she moved with her just a couple. Alright, let's try one more time. I'm going to try to hit her in another spot. Okay, good. Okay, um, we've got a little more that time. And it's really a matter of once you're in there holding them still, because they can actually just move it around, makes the needle jab around. Um, another thing, if you've got to jab them more than about twice, the needle gets a lot duller. So I like to use a different needle um, and just replace it. There we go, Scylla, we'll give her her food back. Label that and we'll show you one more. Done. There we go. Little girl did the best. Oh, let me get a napkin. I should have brought my little alcohol wipes out. I didn't. I'm always forgetting something. But usually when you let the pressure off, that stops pretty fast. If you can put some pressure on there while I put this blood in. This where my fingers are right here. There you go. Little girl did the best. All right, I hope that helps you out. Thank you for watching, and we'll be back with some more cheese videos as soon as we get some milk again.